Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be unboxing Isle of Trains. This video has taken a little bit longer to upload this week but for very very good reason. I've been around traveling all over the country looking for the best board game cafes in the UK so I've got a ton of editing to do in preparation for that. But even more exciting I've just got back and found that I have a copy of Isle of Trains waiting for me. So I'm going to be unboxing this, we're going to have a quick look through it, um, I'm going to do a solo video on that anyway, of, uh, once I've learned how to play it, play it through, and uh, we've got the Board Game Cafe this Sunday at Runcorn, so we're going to be playing it there, and I'll give it a good go before I do the full review of it, but for now, I just want to get into an unboxing. So here we go, here's the box, um, it's a prototype copy, I'm getting good at working out what a prototype copy looks like now, uh, basically you have on the side, you see where it's stuck over on the corners, and that's how you work out that a game that you've got a copy of is a proto prototype copy, and the only reason I know that is because making my own game, um, I've got a proto prototype copy made and it had that same thing, so now I know every time I see a board game that arrives like that, it's definitely a prototype copy. Anyway, let's get into it. So, uh, the box is gorgeous. Look at that, look at the colour. Fantastic. So on the back, it's literally just the uh, the logo, so there's nothing else on there. Again, with a prototype copy, we have a printed out rule book. Uh, the reason that I imagine it's printed out, and I've done the same actually with Influencer, um, is the rules are subject to change as you're developing and growing. So rather than getting a final copy printed and adding to the cost of the prototype, it helps actually to um, to save that and just print it yourself, and then you can change it and just print out a new copy and add it in uh, as and when you need. Actually, since receiving this, um, they have messaged me the updated rule sheet, so I will be printing that out specifically for going over uh, the game details. Uh, we've got a bunch of cards here, so these are the cards that you'll be drawing from um, as the game progresses, and they've all got different resources and things on them, but the artwork is very, very nice, isn't it? Um, well, that's the back of them ones. Um, let's turn that over. So these are carriages that attach to your trains. There's your main engine, the front of it. Um, I'll go into more detail about the game, obviously, when we, we cover it in full, but just for the purposes of this, um, you can see there's a bunch of different cards here. They're all different carriages um, that hold different things in those carriages um, and different engines, which is uh, what cat, like how many carriages it can pull, for example, you can upgrade those. So we've got two separate types of card. We've got the draw pile, which is going to be all your trains and carriages and things. And we've got the map cards, so they get laid out as the map and we we'll sort of work around that. Um, this is These are your map cards as well, so not just trains, these are your maps, you lay that out um, as the card format as well. So, we've got cards. You will have your little meeples in here, so these are your passengers of your train, uh, lots of different colours, so you pick these out at random. So we've got three of each type of colour and a train. The different colours will all correspond to different aspects of the game, but we'll come to that later. We've also got these train tiles, so this is the train track, I think that goes across the top maybe, a recycle one, maybe just a spare tile for whatever you might need that for. Um, these are your station ports I think, um, your, your different stations that you can arrive at. So we've got a bunch of train stations and a bunch of other tiles which are to do with uh, what you're going to collect on different stations, I think, but I will explore that a bit more. Ah, oh, no, that's the main track. We've got two of these little tile pieces that clip together like this, and then your little train starts here and is going to chug along until you reach the end of the game. Um, and then finally here, we've got some extra token pieces. I'm guessing these are for, um, for scoring and things. Four, eight, twelve, one tokens, six, three tokens, five, three, five tokens, sorry, a bit of a tongue twister there, and uh, three, ten tokens. Victory points and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's, that's what you've got in the box. And that is what you get inside of Isle of Trains.